And I think a lot of people think about their peripherals um, and they want a quality setup. Like they think about their mouse, they think about their keyboard, maybe a nice monitor. But I think something that, that tends to go like unthought about is the chair that you sit in, which is funny because I would argue that the chair is probably the thing you use the most. You know, just like an athlete would do things to protect their bodies, those same principles are, are our vision for gaming as a whole, right? When you sit in an unhealthy posture, you're putting a lot of pressure on your disc. Um, you're preventing blood flow to your brain. Um, you, a lot of people end up with lower back pain. But what we saw within the gaming world is that it's, it's exacerbated, right? Um, five, 10 X um, because uh, the players are just sitting for so long and focusing, um, especially competitive players, whether you're a hobby, passion, passionate gamer, or an esports athlete or streamer. Um, it's really important to actually think about your body in a completely different way so that as you sit and as you play, stream, whatever it may be, that your body is in a strength position so that um, you stay comfortable. And that's what we're really excited about, bringing that this understanding of ergonomics that um, we've been hearing quite a bit of people uh, asking for. The first things they, they tell you as an adult is like, buy a good mattress, right? Is yep. because you spend like a third of your life sleeping on it, right? And I think the same the same principles apply for, for things like gaming as well, right? Look at yourself in the mirror. What you're looking for is a nice 90 degree angles between your quads and your calves. Um, and once you hit that 90 degrees, you'll know that your seat is in the right height. Typically, we see gamers crossing their legs. That's because their seat, their chair isn't properly supporting their, their spine. So they're trying to compensate with their legs on, underneath them. A really good chair, um, when it's working correctly, you should feel it. What you should be measuring comfort on is, is, does this chair function at a level to where like it completely disappears? And if it does that, then we have done our jobs well. One of our core values and strategic principles at Herman Miller is, you know, people, place, and planet. Um, and the planet is super important to us when we think about how do we, you know, design our products? How do we then think about manufacturing our products? How do we then think about delivering our products to a customer? Um, and then at the end of his life, what happens to that product? So um, our CEO, Andy Owen, has actually made it one of our strategic uh, pillars. For a lot of our products that we design are using recyclable uh, materials. Um, we do not use any um, you know, like harmful chemicals. Um, anywhere between 90% or greater, um, our chairs can be recyclable. So you can actually take um, a chair at the end of its life, which most of our chairs are testing, a very long time, um, but even at the end of it, you can fully um, disassemble the chair and actually recycle it to keep that product out of the landfill. You know, all our gaming products across both Logitech G and Astro are carbon neutral. Our CEO has made a similar announcement about trying to put more transparency behind the materials that go into our products. And we're, we're doing our utmost to try and make sure that we're doing what's best for the planet.